My name is McLean Ward. I'm an Olympic show jumper and a lifelong equestrian and horse trainer uh, professional. I've been to five straight Olympic Games, won four Olympic medals and a few other Grand Prix along the way to get there. You know, the rider wears a lot of different hats, including, you know, nowadays, in particular as the sport has progressed, to be a, a super fit, high, high uh, performance athlete. And the recovery, dealing with injuries, dealing with stresses on the body is a huge part of what we go through in our daily training and competition. And it's ever more important that not only are we developing those skills and developing our bodies, but also how we're caring for and how our recovery is from, like I said, competition, but even more from training. As the sport progress, um, I think we are one of those sports that it is becoming ever more clear and evident that the rider's physical state, um, both on, not only from a performance and stamina point of view, but also from a recovery and overall general health point of view, um, is a massive factor at the end of the day in, in one's results and, and performance. Uh, I think it also affects athletes mentally. Um, if an athlete's in pain or feeling physically limited um, or not having the ability to properly recover from the stresses of competition and training, um, it, really, it really plays with your mind, which is a, is a huge factor in the sport that we do. Um, I'm getting a little older now. Um, I was a kid for a long time in my sport and for sure physically that was easier. Um, as I'm aging a bit and my reflexes aren't quite what they once were and I'm a little bit you know, sore in the morning when I start my day, um, I think focus on you know, daily training in the gym, uh, really trying to maintain a healthy weight and diet, um, and also looking for different therapies uh, for post-competition and training uh, for recovery. I, I think massage in general has been always a huge part of, of my training routine. You know, I felt that massage not only helped me physically, but it helped me mentally. It allowed me to just step away for a moment, clear my thoughts, um, and particularly on, on very big competitions, I had a routine here on the Grand Prix day in Florida uh, where I would you know, end my day early, we would be competing at night and I would try to go for a massage in the afternoon because not only did it help me physically relax and stretch and all of the different um, physical attributes to massage, it, it mentally allowed me to, to get focused. Having a product like Human Touch available to us where that resource is there 24-7 for us in our own homes or training centers um, not only makes it a lot more convenient, um, it makes it much easier not to skip that step in your routine, which in our busy lives, professionally and personally, um, that you know, it tends to be the, the trend. I don't know a rider who hasn't broken their collarbone, if not both. I broke my leg in 27 places. I've had multiple other smaller injuries um, and re returned to compete at an Olympic level post them. I actually returned to the London Olympics six months after breaking my leg in 27 places. So without uh, great PT, um, recovery process, you know, hours in the gym, uh, none of that would be possible. I remember, you know, going to Sharper Image and seeing the, like I said, the prehistoric versions of what human touch is, but the idea was there, right? The concept was there and, and dreamed of having uh, such a chair in my house, which at that time in my, my life and career was a, was a long shot. You know, I think the technology with human touch has come to a point where it's better than, than an in-person massage. And again, to have that at your disposal in your home uh, in such a convenient manner, uh, not only from a planned program that, that you say once a day or before competition or post-competition, I'm going to use uh, the chair, um, but I think just also when you, when you have a minute that you can step away, not only the effects that it has on you physically, but just even mentally to, to just take 20 minutes to recharge your batteries, to refocus your brain. It's a huge asset to, to our competitive life as well as personal life. We had started to see the Human Touch chair, which was you know, a, a different level of technology and product than, than the, the sharper image products I talked about you know, 25 years ago. Um, and then a very good friend of mine, Jimmy Toronto, who's a, a client of, your, of Human Touch, uh, told me I, I got this new, great new massage chair, and I, you know, of course, you know, when I first heard it, I thought, ah, okay, whatever, you know, <laughs> until I tried it, and and I was sold. Um, and at that time, I located one of your earlier products and enjoyed the benefits of that for a number of years. And to have the the ability to use the the latest technology, uh, like I said, not only has it affected us performance-wise, it's it's a great asset to our daily life. My favorite features of the Supernovo. Uh, are you know a combination of features. Uh, I love to put the heat on, take the zero gravity. Uh, I love the foot massage and as well as the stretching uh, program. Uh, it just stretches out my back, my my uh, hips. 
um, and allows me just like I said takes you away for a few moments mentally and you know you feel you feel like you've been recharged when you come out. I purchased the first chair probably about three and a half years ago and uh, I remember when it arrived and and we all tested it out in our garage before we even got it in the house and uh, again, a few a few naysayers in my group thought it was a little bit ah. What have what have you what have you bought now? Um, until they wouldn't get out of the chair in the garage, and it was a daily you know line of, of my staff and managers and everybody that's behind us you know wanting wanting to try it out. This year, Christmas, my barn manager and head of our team, Lee McKeever, has been with me 30 years, who's been dealing with some back and disc issues. Um, we purchased one for him for Christmas and uh, I think it's been a lifesaver. Um, I think not only physically, uh, how it's helping him with his back and stresses, um, but I think also mentally dealing with me as the head of my team on a daily basis, it's been an oasis for him. As the sport improves uh, and the riders are getting better and better at the top level and is getting more competitive, you have to press in every direction. You have to press not only with your riding skills, with your management and business skills, because at the end of the day, all sports are businesses now, um, and you have to press with your physical conditioning and health. Um, if you come up short in any one of those areas, you're going to come up short in your overall results in the sport. But if you continue to press in all of those different directions and take care of yourself along the way, you're not only going to have great results in the sport, but you're going to have a high quality of life.